I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. Joaquin El Chapo Guzman has been sentenced to life in prison plus another 30 years. The court also ordered Guzman to pay $12.6 billion. Guzman spoke at his sentencing hearing today in a New York federal courtroom, telling the court, quote, there was no justice here. And looking ahead, tomorrow the second public oversight meeting for the 1921 mass graves investigation will take place. It's set to happen at the Rudisill Regional Library on North Hartford at 530. During that meeting, members of the Physical Evidence Investigation Committee will provide a detailed overview of the proposed investigation process to identify those graves. The meeting will be live streamed on the City of Tulsa's Facebook as well as their website, cityoftulsa.gov. And Milo, the puppy born with upward facing paws, has now gone through six months of intensive rehabilitation therapy. Milo has gone from a puppy having to army crawl to now a puppy able to play and run. This is all part of his rehabilitation, included muscle stretching exercises, short walks and swimming. And after months of that strengthening training, Milo can now walk and play just like any other dog. Well, let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Clint Boone. All right, excessive heat warning remains in effect for us through 8 o'clock this evening. Expecting temperatures to top out in the upper 90s with a heat index anywhere from 110 to 114. Still more heat on the way tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, but there will be chances for some relief. By next Monday, a weak front pushes in. Could be some showers around. Not as humid after Monday with highs upper 80s to lower 90s. And those mornings will be a lot more pleasant too in the 60s. Aaron. All right, thank you, Clint. That's a look at your digital update. I'm Erin Conrad. Two works for you.